Um, so, so, like Ali said, um, and like a lot of people say, it's really hard to pinpoint when things um, with mental health issues start because it's so hard to remember it far back. Um, and I can I can remember back. I can remember back like to my childhood, and I can think of times where I encountered things like anxiety and depression and. Um, or symptoms of it, and I never really knew what it meant at the time when I was a kid, and I just, I thought that was part of life. I thought that's how I was. I thought I was just a nervous, shy, relatively sad kid. Um, and it never really started to surface as like an actual problem until uh, my junior year of high school. So I was 17 years old, and um, at this point in my life, I was, um, I had, like I said, I had gone through, you know, um, different anxieties and things before, but um, I met a girl, and before this point in my life, I had never really dated anybody or been close with anybody. I was a reserved person, and um, for the first time ever, this was someone I opened up to, and she opened up to me, and I had never had that with, you know, as close as I am with them, I never had that with my parents or my sisters, or I never told anybody how I was feeling that what I'd gone through or anything that bothered me. And she did the same to me and it made me feel so elated that I could have someone who didn't make me feel alone. Um, and long story short, that uh, relationship, if you even want to call it that, um, it, it broke off pretty abruptly and pretty quick. And you know, to anybody else who sees it on the surface, we went on a couple of dates and talked on my phone, but it was so much more to me, and it tore me apart, and I just went spiraling downwards for a long time. And uh, I really, like it really sunk in, that I was just, I was depressed in this time, and crying myself to sleep for a couple of weeks, and I eventually did something I had never done before, and I went to my parents about what I was feeling, and as much as I loved them, I was 17, I didn't want to go to my parents about a bad grade, much less the fact that I was crying myself to sleep. So um, I did though, because I had nowhere else to turn and I was afraid of what might happen. And they brought me to a psychiatrist and at that point, I, um, I felt like a problem. Like my parents are very supportive and loving and they worried, but I didn't want them to. I felt like I was a burden on their shoulders. I felt like I had a stigma attached to me. If, if I were to go see a therapist and take pills, I didn't want to be that person because I had never known anybody like that before. So they took me to a psychiatrist. I lied, said everything was okay. It was a breakup. I'll get over it. And then I kind of relied on myself, like I had in the past, to push through it somehow. Um, <clears throat> and over the next few months, kind of leading into my senior year, um, I chased after that idea of a relationship of being close with someone, and um, I could never get it, and it led to disappointment after disappointment, and made me more and more cynical and negative and angry at everything. Like, angry at the people who were, the, the, the girls I couldn't get in relationships with, I was angry at my friends, I was angry at everybody I knew, and just, I started to close myself off even more than usual. And then senior year starts, and the pressure of school was really on because everybody seemed to have it figured out where they were going, what they wanted to major in, and I had no idea. Um, so that was bogging me down, and I, I didn't even know if I wanted to go to school. And people would ask me, like, where are you going to school next year? What do you want to do? And I started to wonder whether or not I wanted to see next year, much less be in school the next year. And um, I started to get a lot more, I had been suicidal in the past, I'd had the thought before, but the thoughts really grew at this point in my life. This is um, the beginning of my senior year. Um, I used to, like I said, I closed myself off. I went to the library every day for lunch, usually by myself and just sat there. Um, sometimes I would cry, just. One day I went there, I was particularly upset, I wrote a suicide note. I was sitting in the library, and it was later on in 2012, my senior year. Um, and I figured, this is it, like, this is my fate, this is what's gonna happen. So I grew to accept it. Um, 
Then a depression screening came around in school, as they do, ironically enough at that time. Um, and I didn't feel like holding back anymore. So I told the truth on it, and that raised red flags and sent me to the school psychologist, which made me mad because I didn't want people trying to help me. It made me feel guilty for what I wanted to do. So again, I lied to the school psychologist. He told my parents about it. I lied to them, told them I was gonna be okay. Um, and then December of 2012, my senior year, I don't remember what the date was, but uh, one day it just hit me that that was the day I wanted to do it. So I had one of those pull-up bars that you put in a door frame. I put it in the door frame in my closet. I hung a belt from it and just looked at it for, uh, I don't know how long, it felt like forever. And I didn't do it. I didn't put my, I, I didn't even put myself in, but I didn't lose the thought that I wanted to. Um, so I kind of trudged on the next few weeks, go through the holidays, through winter break. Everything was kind of starting to calm down, but I was still upset. Um, and then the next year comes around, and my friends who had been more receptive to coming to me before, have, uh, they started coming to me more often. Like, some, I, I had friends that would come to me and ask me for advice or vent to me or whatever they had to do, and it must have been happening uh, like quite a bit in this period of my life because I noticed like a little bit outside of myself that, uh, that this is happening a lot and um, that other people have these problems. So what I did was <clears throat> I, made a, uh, I made a video and put it on YouTube and I asked people, um, if you want to share your story with me, if you have anything to tell me, anything you've gone through, you can do that, message me or call me. Or... And I started getting so many responses, people telling me their life story that I didn't even know. And, um, it really changed my perspective to see all these people going through what I was. Um, it was, it was, it was, it, it's probably what saved my life to know that I wasn't alone in that situation. And then, you know, I started having my own resiliency to fight through everything and to, to bring myself out of that situation, have a new outlook on life and be positive again. And, you know, that only lasted so long because fast forward a year up until last year and I was very stressed out and I was starting to fall back into this pit that I was in. Um, and I, I, I felt, I, I, had a, I had a breakup last year that made me go back into where I was and I started feeling angry and lethargic again and, and sleeping all day and I didn't want to feel that anymore. And no matter how much resiliency or self-love or anything I applied to myself, I couldn't have, fought the inevitable, that my brain chemistry just wasn't keeping up with the battle. Like, I just didn't, at the end of the day, it's a chemical issue that you have to keep up with, depending on the issue. And sometimes self-love and resiliency, no matter how wonderful and strong they are, they just couldn't do it. So I went to a psychiatrist last August um, for the first time, telling the truth. Uh, and I was diagnosed with anxiety. I was told I um, had symptoms of depression, and now I'm on medicine that I take every day. I see a therapist every month. Um, going back to school, I, I left that out. I didn't go to school last year. Um, I'm going back to school. I have a career path in mind, and I'm not going to say that, you know, it's all better. Like, I have a perfectly good outlook on life, but I know I'm getting there. I know the steps to take. I know the importance now of looking at other situations and looking at your situation, being able to better yourself and those around you, and just recognizing all of that. So. Thank you so much. So glad you're here.